What's up, everybody? Griever here. And, yeah, so I'm not in the shop right at the moment because my shop is right now storage for a bunch of Christmas bins, and it's also a complete and utter uh, disaster area because of reasons, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but after the holidays are over, bins are back up, and I can get out there and straighten everything up again. Uh, all video, my videos will be back out there like normal, so... But this is a special occasion video because I got told about a free Nerf lot in my area that was up for grabs. So I got sent a couple of pictures by an anonymous family member and I went to go pick them up. So it was two boxes of Nerf stuff that this guy was getting rid of and I guess... You know, either he didn't want it anymore, his kids weren't playing with it or whatever, but I'm going to find a couple of uses for it because the pictures I was sent, there were a few items and I saw it immediately and I'm like, yes, I want these. And I may not be using everything. I'm probably not keeping everything. So please don't freak out, Arlene. Um, but yeah, so let's go through the boxes and it's only two of them, but they're big boxes. <laughs> Let's go through, see what we got, and then I'll let you know what I think of my find. I got two big boxes from this very nice person in town who was getting rid of, I guess, apparently their Nerf collection. All he asked in return was, they're free to take if I happen to want to throw a couple of, like, you know, upgraded versions his way, then that's totally fine. He said he likes the pistols, which are, I'm more than happy to work on some pistols, but got two boxes to go through and I'll start off with the small box because that looks like it's more accessories stuff like that we'll go through the big box in a minute so small box here we have an original Raider a element six and a night finder that once belonged to Jacob sorry Jacob Oh, I thought that's what this was glowing. A Zingbo. So that's actually pretty cool find. Um, a paintball mask, which I don't think I'm going to be keeping that. One of the modulus stocks and scope. And I actually don't have this scope, so I might find a use for that. I don't know about the stock, though. Uh, ooh, the upgraded flip clip which, hey, it's some seven rounders another night finder uh this belonged to gabrielle Ooh, a dart Ooh, one of the uh dart tech pistols these are really neat that's gonna that's gonna be fun to kind of work with uh looks like two battle vests cool oh three battle vests even better uh, oh, a Rebel Charm. We have to find a use for that. A little Deadpool keychain. Ah, the other Dart Tag Blaster. So, that'll be cool. Oh, a Big Shock. Uh, it's got some sun fading on it, so this may have been, and also dirt in it, so this was definitely outside for quite some time, so. Uh... That may be getting some modded. Not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Uh, some safety glasses. Looks like one is just a... Yeah, this one's just generic non... Uh, No-name one. This is actually Nerf branded uh, eye protection, so that's kind of neat. A six-round clip which looks like it's from, this is either from, this might have been from the Whiteout Long Strike, or it was from one of the other, um, maybe Do the Doomlands uh, Snow ones, I forget what line that is, but uh, there is a little bit of sun fading on it, but nothing too, too terrible. And I really hope all of this actually is in frame. Ooh, another Element 6. Uh... A 35 round Raider drum, a 
25 round drum, so that's kind of neat. A 12 round clip still in package. A 20 round nitro, uh, a 20 round vortex clip or magazine, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the angled, or not the angled, but the uh, front grip to that modulus set from earlier. A clear 18 round from a rapid strike, and these are honestly always nice to have. Uh, six rounds. Ooh, flip fury. And it seems to be working still pretty good. Uh, other than that, the only thing left in here is, ooh, a sledge fire shell. Nice. Um, other than that, it's just random assortment of darts and a kind of crushed demolisher rocket. So I'm going to put these back in the box and we're going to take a look at the bigger box because that's where a lot of the stuff that I saw and I'm like, yes, I will take this. So give me one second. So now on to the next box. And like I said, the, a few things in here are really kind of what caught my eye. And first and foremost, I never actually owned one of these, and it feels like it still has batteries in here. But a Vorte an original Vortex Nitron. So I've kind of always wanted one of these in my collections, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Like if I'm going to do, I could do a Boom Nitron, or I could just you know, probably wind up selling it. I don't know, but yeah, this is going to be one of those I have things in mind. <laughs> so... Oh, God, Arlene's going to kill me when she sees this video. Uh, okay, so it's a little messed up, but the lever for on the uh, sling fire, but this is a sling fire. I do like sling fires, and I have a couple of ideas for projects for sling fires. So an extra sling fire, sling fire is always welcome. So, I mean, it still works, but, you know. The one thing that definitely caught my eye was there was an original long strike, but more importantly, it was a long strike with the correct front barrel. Um, I did not see in the photos and in the other box I did not see, but I do not have the uh, priming handle, but I do have a few spare ones between long, sh long strikes and also uh, long shots. So I will be able to at least deprime and get that uh, clip out of there and then figure out what else I want to do with that thing. But I'm, one thing I definitely wanted was that front barrel because I love the long strike front barrel. Uh, we got a deploy, which was partially primed and it's a deploy. So, <laughs> you know, there's that. A... I believe this was the Zombie Strike Crossfire. And, I mean, it wasn't... It's not a terrible thing. My main my main problem with this one was always this, like, this uh, trigger guard, or not trigger guard, uh, knuckle duster, was always way too small for me. Like, I needed... It needed to literally be, like, one and a half fingers bigger, and it would have been perfect, but... I mean, it's still not terrible, so... Ooh, got a Cyclone Shock. I actually have a couple of these still in box, but, I mean, Cyclone Shocks are still a very nice Mega Blaster. So, happy with that. Ooh, a Roto Fury. Ooh, maybe I'll send this to Clanny. He can work on a second one. <laughs> oh, another uh, Crossfire. And this one actually does look like it's in better condition. And for some reason, this is also just firing, like the air restrictors aren't working or something. Oh, I see why, because down barrel number two, the air restrictor is actually depressed and not going in. So there's that. Um, oh, a firefly. I did have a couple of these a while ago. Um, these are not the most comfortable blasters to use. However, they make for great stock integrations. So that is something I'm probably going to look forward to. I have a couple of uh, Firefly shells, so I may wind up leaving this one intact until I eventually actually do get to it. Ooh. 
I got another zinc bow, so that's cool. Uh, the bipod for a uh, Centurion, which is actually really neat because this I could probably put with my Sonic Ice Centurion since I still have that thing. Uh, it does feel kind of stuck. Like, I think it definitely needs a little TLC before it goes into a rotation of any kind, but there's that. A modulus front barrel extension. Ooh, an Apollo. An Apollo that was still primed. So, with ammo, yay. So, yeah, that was fun. Glad I didn't shoot my TV. Um, oh, this is cool. Okay, so this was a Nerf scope from back in the day as one of their, like, add-on sets and all that stuff. I had gotten this for my original Alpha Trooper. And then I found the pinpoint site, so this actually went on my Alpha Trooper Dose.0. And honestly, it's really neat that I was able, that I now have a second one of these, because I will definitely find something to put this on and make it just super tactical sweetness. Um... Ooh, a Thunder Blast. Um, again, this is one I never really had, uh, but this was the standalone Demolisher rocket launcher, so that's actually kind of neat. Oh, wow, the... This is, one, this is one of the old-school Dartag blasters to kind of go along with those pistols, so... This is actually kind of a neat one. I forget what the name of this one is, uh... I don't know what I'm going to be able to get done with it because the screws are super rusted. But, you know, I, I I don't know. I'll figure something out. A hammer shot, which is always loving and welcome. A strong arm that has definitely gotten some sun bleaching on it. And some I heart bacon... Uh, electrical tape or duct tape on it for, you know, style points, but hey, who doesn't love bacon? Another Raider, along with a lot of chain and an R2-D2 Lego keychain, which is kind of neat. Um, it has one of the banana clips in it, which is covered in duct tape. And everything about this thing is covered in duct tape, so this will either be in it. That would be an interesting project to kind of work on. Oh, sweet. Yes, and it does have a third shell. And I actually have a couple of the shells still lying around, but a sledge fire, which is very cool. I'm very happy I have one, another one of those now. So yay on that. Oh, okay. Uh, this is... A scope. This is an actual uh, Nerf scope. This was. This came with. Uh, I want to say one of the Zombie Strike blasters that got reconverted into. That was a Dart Tech blaster that got brought over into the Zombie Strike line. So. This is actually a really nice scope. I do like it, and it you know it's visually it's very tactical, but like all Nerf scopes, they're they don't do anything other than kind of give you, like, a really poor reticle that you can't see out of. But, I mean, the tacticalness is there. Oh, I remember these things, the sling strikes. And I don't know if this has... I may have to put a dart in here just to actually kind of deprime it. Yep. So, yeah, this thing is... This is the Nerf Slingshot 2.0. Um, the back of this grip was never comfortable at all to hold. It was okay. Actually, even even saying it's okay is being a stretch, but the I the concept of this was kind of neat. But a recon with another uh, banana mag with the duct tape. 
completely and totally adorning this thing. And, oh, okay, so I may have a couple of pieces for this in my uh, parts bin because the back cap of this is busted. So that's going to at least be a fix or an easy, easy, easy to fix. Oh, a orange fire fire strike. I never actually had one of the orange ones. Uh, still works. Still has batteries. Still has the same crappy light as always. But the cool part about this one is it lights up on the sides. So that's kind of cool. And then last but not least, the ubiquitous Maverick. Now, the gentleman who I did get this set from did say that this was his favorite blaster out of everything that I got. So, as a thank you, I am actually going to mob this up uh, after the holidays and return it to him as a thank you gift, along with maybe like one or two of the other pistols. So, yeah, this is going to be a project. I know... Uh, I know the Maverick has always been Clowney's specialty, but I've dabbled in these a couple of times, so. All right, I'm just going to clean all this up now and just uh, finish off the video as I normally do with my final thoughts on what I got. So, see you in a minute. So, that was my haul. Uh, I got to say, I was pretty impressed with the good majority of that. Uh, when I was sent the pictures of, hey, would you be interested in these? The key things that stuck out to me were that Nitron, that Slink Fire, and not so much the Long Strike, but definitely that Long Strike, long strike front barrel, because I love those things, and they're so hard to come by because they're stupid expensive on eBay. And they came out a while ago and really haven't been made since, um, unless you get the Modulus one from Amazon, and that's ridiculously expensive. So, but either way, uh, there were definitely a couple of nice surprises in there. The Zingbos were definitely something that I was not expecting because when I went and I got the boxes, I was told that, yeah, about 99% of everything in there is real Nerf. <laughs> real Nerf. Uh, so, yeah, I was expecting, like, maybe a couple of Busby Blasters, maybe an X-Shot or Dart Zone Blaster. Definitely wasn't expecting Zingbos. Uh, would have been nice if I had a couple of Zingbo arrows to go with that, but I'm sure somebody will be interested in those regardless. Uh, but yeah, a couple of the other things were really neat in there. Those That Retaliator, that will definitely come in handy. Uh, the pistols are always nice to kind of mess around with on just slow days if I want a little project to work on. That Maverick... And possibly that hammer shot, though, are going to go back to the gentleman I did actually get everything from because when I did pick them up and, you know, just wanted to make sure everything was on the up and up and verify, like, you know, hey, I can take these, right? Uh, he did say, yeah, they're free to take. Uh, the only, he said, if you want to throw a little something back, like in way of an upgrade on some of these or whatnot, I said, say no more. I gave him my card. I told him, I have no problem. I'll definitely do something. So I think I'm going to upgrade that Maverick and that Hammer Shot because he did say he really liked the pistols. And, you know, it's just going to really be my way of saying thank you for, you know, this bounty on which I have received. So, okay, so before I end this video, I did just want to take a moment to just really say thank you to everyone who watches our content here on the channel, uh, who has taken the time to subscribe. Uh, 2021 has been a weird year, but then again, we've, we're in weird times as of late, but 2021 was actually a pretty good year for the channel in and of itself. Uh, we broke a thousand subs, we broke 1100 subs and we're getting, we're getting ever so closer to breaking 1200. So fingers crossed that's, you know, next year's goal, definitely, you know, maybe shoot for 13. So, but uh, for myself and Arlene, I did want to say thank you again for all the support this year. Uh, chances are I am getting this video, uh, I'm not chances are, but I'm definitely getting this video uploaded before the new year. So this will be the last video of the year. Uh, we will be back next year with plenty of content because as you can see, I got plenty of projects now to work on. I'm really sorry, Arlene, don't worry, I'm not keeping everything, but yeah, we're going to have plenty of content next year. We got a ton of projects already in the pipeline that we want to work on. Not to mention 
uh, you know, the stuff that I'm just going to wind up reviewing as either I get it or things come out and or I'm send stuff, whichever. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. So thank you very much for joining us. And as always, if you enjoyed the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my haul and what was your favorite piece out of it. Uh, let me know. I love reading all those comments. And, ooh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing a silliness here on the channel. And don't forget, we do have a P.O. box, so if you want to send us any letters saying hi, you know, what you want to be working on or, you know, whatever, uh, it's down in the description. So it's there. Just throwing it out there again. But, <laughs> again... Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys next year. Later.